Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 27th of June. I'm going to give you the key strands to look out for this week. Please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces, which you can watch in terms of your ascendant or your sun or both. Now this week, of course, does see the new moon in the sign of Cancer. Now, depending on where you are in the world, it's on the 28th or 29th. In terms of universal central time, it's the 29th. And this squares with the buoyant energy of Jupiter. Now, both are in cardinal signs. Cancer, the second of the cardinal quadrants, is very much about protection, nurture, the environment, our home, our family, our feelings. So that upbeat energy, that levitating energy of Jupiter is asking us to find ways, enterprising ways, because I think Jupiter is pushing for that, to add that sense of security at the root of our existences. Now Neptune, the planet of dreams, does begin a retrograde on Tuesday, which will last through to the 4th of December. Neptune's great if we want to embrace a more spiritual dimension, whether it's a more traditional spirituality or something that's more personal and much more to do with our own particular way of experiencing faith. But the retrograde could see us thinking very deeply about these issues over this period of time. But later this week, Neptune gets into a rather destructive right angle with Mercury. Mercury in the sign of Gemini, of course, is in its home sign, and it's very much about clarity and quick wits. So an exchange towards the end of this week may require a little more care, particularly if you're talking about a contract, but some gossip uh, could be doing the round, so vital to try to keep things real. But there are two glorious influences this week. Mars forges a very stable angle to Saturn, and also there's a beautiful link between Jupiter and Venus. Now that can actually be very lucky, and if you're wanting to look to uh, to add to your family, I understand that this particular aspect can be very helpful, but it's also one where we can socialize and be a bit more free-spirited and live in the moment. Now, the more breaking and restrictive energies of Saturn are counterbalanced uh, by the more progressive energies of Mars, which is very much about pushing forwards. So uh, Saturn can act as a bit of an anchor for the more rampant and more impulsive energies of Mars. So that's a very nice balancing influence too. In fact, towards the end of this week, despite the fact that Mercury gets blighted by Neptune, it actually also itself forges a stable link to Saturn. So I think as the week goes on, scrutinizing the details around anything is going to be important. And as I say, particularly if you're discussing a contract, uh, a job offer, or you're sending some communication that's important, make sure that you treble check everything before you do press that send button. Now, if you'd like to get a more detailed understanding of the new moon, please see beneath this video and you can watch my new moon special video. But if you are new to my channel, I'd be honored if you would subscribe. I'm nearly there at the 100,000 subs mark. And if you've already subscribed, I'm very grateful. And if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and embrace the wonder of more serious astrology, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data of time, date and place, I can give you a roadmap that can guide you for the rest of your life, as well as a 12 month personal forecast these are completely individual to you. And there's 30% off if you see the link beneath this video with my special offer. So Cancer, your week commencing the 27th of June forecast does of course see the new moon in your sign. The most influential new moon of the year because your sign is governed by the moon. So the moon's very much about how we feel about things 
But then the first house is about, about being more direct, about having a little bit more faith in our gut feelings. Now that's not to say that you don't possess those qualities ordinarily. It would depend on your natal chart, of course. But I think what you're going to find is with Jupiter in the mix as well, if there are goals and ambitions that you feel you want to be more dynamic about going for, this is a great time to get them off the ground. Then again, if there are some ongoing uh, parts of your situation which you're really invested in, this is a great opportunity to really fire them up and give them more passion, desire and determination to see them through. Now, of course, there are also some lovely other influences this week, not least the two planets of fortune, Venus and Jupiter, coming together in a very providential way. That could come through some kind of discreet conversation or someone could take soundings from you but actually could work behind the scenes in an influential way to help you. Now Saturn's linked with Mars. Mars is in a very very dominant part of your scope linking to Saturn in the part of your situation to do with longer term finance. So if you are wanting to make a bid or push for some position or you're doing a presentation and you need to come across in a very competent and well-balanced way, that's a very good influence. Now, Neptune does go into a retrograde. So from now through to the 4th of December, being very realistic around anything to do with contracts is important. But also if you're someone who does like to trip the light fantastic when it comes to travel or using your imagination, or in terms of artistry, your self-expression, the inward nature of the retrograde can help to get more out of you. It's just that towards the end of this week, Mercury is in a, a more challenging a right angle with Neptune. And again, it could be something that you're thinking about quietly behind the scenes. Maybe you're doing some deep research, vital for us all, that we really keep things clear when those two are meshing together because Neptune can distort the, uh, the more practical, uh, factual uh, elements of Mercury. So if you are talking about something or thinking about something, try to stay as objective as possible because it would be easy to find that your reaction to something is amplified in some kind of way through Neptune being in your ninth house. And it could bring up some anxieties within you. But generally, the new moon in your sign is a time to be very decisive, get on the front foot, and with Jupiter in the mix, really believe that things can move forwards for you at some greater pace. Mm -hmm.